Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Foxeer F722 V2 flight controller. In this quick video I'm going to go over its features and specs and also announce a small giveaway so one of you lucky subscribers is going to win this flight controller which is going to be directly sent to the winner by Foxeer. In terms of packaging the Foxeer F722 V2 comes inside a small box and inside along with the flight controller you can find four rubber grommets that are going to help you to soft mount the flight controller. As for its specs, the flight controller came pre-flashed with Betaflight 4.1.5 and the target firmware is Foxeer F722 V2. In addition, it features five free UART ports, a physical boot button, which is great. The DC input voltage is between 11 to 30 volts. It features an F7 processor and an MPU6000 gyro chip. It has a dedicated pad for camera control, which you can use in order to set up your FPV camera. In addition to the 8 pins JST connector that will help you to connect the flight controller to a 4-in-1 ESC, on the bottom of the flight controller you can find matching pads, so in case the JST connector breaks, you can use them. The flight controller features both 5 and 9 volts BECs, which is especially great for powering up the DJI Air unit. Next to the Camera Plus and VTX Plus, you can find these soldering pads. The default option for the camera is 5 volts and for the VTX 9 volts. If you'd like to change it, all you have to do is to desolder this soldering bridge and solder the center pad with the right or with the left one in order to switch between 5 and 9 volts. In case you would like to power the VTX directly from your battery, you can do so by using the VCC pad on the other side of the flight controller. In addition, the flight controller features two pass pads, which can be useful for a TBS crossfire and VTX setup. Except these pads, which match the same layout of the 4-in-1 ESC connector, all the other pads can be found both on the bottom and the top side of the flight controller, which is great, because sometimes pads can be pulled off from the flight controller. The outer dimensions of the flight controller are 37 by 33 by 6.2 mm. It is using 30.5 by 30.5 mm M3 mounting holes, and the weight of the flight controller is 7.7 grams. So overall, considering its features and the fact that it goes for about $30, this flight controller seems to offer a great value for money, and you should note that a 20 by 20 mm version is available as well, and I expect to test it soon. As for the giveaway, in case you would like to participate, all you have to do is to make sure that you are publicly subscribed to my channel, and leave a comment down below that describes the most important aspect for you when picking up a flight controller. I'm going to announce the winner next month on one of my videos, so stay tuned, and the F722 V2 flight controller is going to be directly sent to the winner by Foxeer. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. I would like to thank Foxeer for sponsoring this giveaway, and I will see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.